So we've established our sync connection between the mixer and Capture 2.1. I want to talk about what is the sync, how does it sync, and what does that do. Let's, first, let's open up a session in Capture. So I'm going to just grab this session and open it. And that has loaded my audio files. Let's kind of move over here so we can take a look. And boom, I've got audio files, and I'm, I'm ready to rock. But what I want to do is I actually want to make a scene on my mixer, and I want to store that scene to this capture session. Uh, before I do that, I'd like to make sure everybody on the network is synced. Now, what does that mean? Uh, well, we have Capture 2.1 running. We have Universal Control AI running. We have the Studio Live AI mixer connected. And we may or may not have wireless devices connected. So when I s click the sync button, it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to use the names from Capture or from the Studio Live mixer? Now, that's kind of a, a personal preference. If you've already done your names on the mixer and you want that loaded into your audio or to your audio files to the tracks and capture you would do it from the mixer if you load this session and you want to use the track names on everything else on the network you just choose capture and what we're going to do is choose capture so once we've done that you can see we have kick snare overhead guitar all that good stuff that's already named if i tab over to my universal control same thing they've been named there as well and when I look on my mixer, boom, it's all named there. Whatever channel I select, it's named here in my channels. So that's pretty smooth, pretty slick. And on the wireless devices, it would be named there as well. So we're going to go back to capture. And what we're going to do is we're going to play back a little music, and we're going to create some quick scenes. We're going to use our channel strip recall feature on this mixer. Let's go ahead and loop this and play back. And guess what? I'm going to use my digital button here to turn this on so we can do some quick mixing. So let's move some stuff up here. All right, we got some stuff popping. Here. that for a second. So we know what everything is because we have an input list which we've just synced across all of our devices on the sync network. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select channel one and I know it's a kick. So boom, I'm going to hit load on the fat channel and I'm going to recall a kick drum preset. Then a snare drum preset and then we have guitar on four. So it's acoustic. I'll just put metal guitar because metal sounds good on acoustic. That's not true. Um, and then we'll go to the piano and recall that. So, and then I think it was 10 um, that was our lead box. Yes. So 10, we'll select that guy here and we'll recall a male vocal for that jazz. So boom, we've got our presets on here and ready to rock and roll. So let's do a quick mix. All right, and then we've got... And we'll say, yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. That's what I needed. So what we want to do now is we want to store that mix to our capture session. So we will save this mix just by clicking that little button right there. And what that has done is it's stored the data from our actual piece of hardware, the, the physical mixer, has been stored along with the capture session.